Hello everyone, this is the challenge question walkthrough for Edexcel's Pure Year 2 textbook and this is for review exercise 2. Okay, for question 1, a chord of a circle, centre O and radius R, divides the circumference in the ratio 1 to 3, as shown in the diagram. Find the ratio of the area of the region P to the area of the region Q. So, First of all, because we know that uh, the chord div uh, divides the circumference into the ratio 1 to 3, as shown, we know that this sector here that we can form from the um, points of intersection of the chord of the circle, this must have an um, angle pi over 2, or 90 degrees, as this is a quarter of the circle, x over 4x. Okay, so if we're looking to find the area of the region P, that we can find that by finding the area of the entire sector and then taking away the area of the triangle. So looking at the right angle triangle first, so we have um, the base and the height are both the radius. And so the area of this triangle is equal to a half base times height. Now if we're looking at the sector, to find the area of this sector, we can use the um, formula for the area of a sector in radians. So the area is going to be a half uh, r squared times theta, which is pi over 2. So we get um, pi r squared over 4. So we have that the area P is equal to um, a pi r squared over 4 minus um, r squared over 2. And that is equal to pi uh, r squared minus 2 r squared over 4. So that is equal to taking the r squared out from the top, r squared pi minus 2 over 4. And now if we look at the area of Q, The area of Q is just going to be the area of the entire circle uh, minus the area of P. So the area of the circle, uh, the area of the circle is pi r squared, and the area of P is r squared pi minus 2 over 4. So this is equal to 4 pi r squared minus um, r squared pi minus 2 all over 4. So this is equal to uh, 4 pi r squared minus pi r squared, so that is 3 pi r squared, and then we've got minus r squared times minus 2, so that's plus uh, 2 r squared, all over 4, and that is equal to r squared uh, into 3 pi uh, plus 2 over 4. So the uh, ratio of the area of region P to the area of region Q is um, r squared pi minus 2 over 4 to um, r squared 3 pi plus 2 over 4 and dividing both sides by um, r squared over 4 these cancel and so we get pi minus 2 to um, 3 pi plus 2 and that is our final answer okay for question 2 the diagram shows a circle center O the radius of the circle OC is 1 and the angle CDO is 90 degrees. Given that the angle COD is x, express the following lengths as single trigonometric functions of x. So first of all, for CD, if we draw out the triangle OCD, um, OCD, the length OC is 1. So if we're looking at um, CD, we know what OC is, so we can use um, sine. So sine of x is equal to opposite, which is CD, over 1. So we get that CD is equal to sine of x. That is for part A. For part B, if we're looking at OD, that is the adjacent to the angle x. So we have cos of x is equal to the adjacent, which is OD over the hypotenuse, which is 1 again. Therefore, we get OD is equal to cos x. 
or part C, we're asked to find OA. So if I tilt on the side a little bit, so this is O, C and A. We know that the angle OCA is going to be a right angle as it is where a, um, a radius meets the tangent of the circle at that point. And we also know that the um, length OC is 1. Now from the diagram, we can assume that the angle AOB is a right angle. Um, it doesn't explicitly say that. Um, it should really, but we can assume that this angle here is 90 degrees. So we have that the angle um, AOC is going to be 90 minus X. And so the angle um, OAC is going to be X. Okay, so now to find the length OA. Again, we've got from X the opposite and the um, adjacent, which we're trying to find. So um, for part C, we have that uh, sine of X is equal to opposite over the adjacent, which is OA. So therefore, we get OA is equal to 1 over sine X, which is cosec X. And for part D, we need to um, find the length AC. So that is the adjacent to the um, angle. And then we've got the opposite as well. So we have tan of X is equal to the um, opposite, which is 1, over the adjacent, which is AC. And that's the length we're trying to find. So we have that AC is equal to 1 over tan X, which is equal to um, cot X. Now for part E, we are asked to find the length CB. And to do this, we're going to have to use the other triangle, CDB, that we haven't used yet. Okay, and from the diagram again, we know that this length here, this, sorry, this angle here, is going to be 90 minus X from the triangle OCD. And then that means we have this angle here, which is going to be X. So this angle up here is x. And currently we don't have any of the lengths, but from um, part A, we know that the length CD is sine of x. So we can put that in and see what we can get out of this. So for uh, if we label this um, triangle, sorry, I haven't done that yet, C and B. So to find the length CB, we've got the adjacent to x, which is sine of x, and then we've got the, um, we're trying to find the hypotenuse, CB. So that, so that means we have to use cos. So cos of x is equal to the adjacent sine of x over the um, hypotenuse, CB. So therefore we get CB is equal to sine of x over cos of x, which equals tan x. And finally, for um, part F, to find OB, that is the bottom length of the entire big triangle. Uh, OAB and we know that the angle OAC um, is X remembering that C is somewhere here so this will be the same as the angle um, A, OAB and we've got a right angle down here so again from part C we know that the length um, OA is cosec X from the angle X, we have the adjacent and we're trying to find the opposite, OB. So that means we're going to use tan X here. So tan of X is equal to the opposite, OB, over the adjacent, which is cosec X. So we have that OB is equal to um, tan of X times cosec X. So that's sine X over cos X times um, 1 over sine X. The sine X is cancel, so we're left with 1 over cos X. And that gives us um, sec of x. And that is our final answer. OK, and finally, question three. The curve C has parametric equations x equals 4 sine t plus 3 and y equals 4 cos t minus 1. For minus pi over 2 um, is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to pi over 4. Um, for part A, by finding a Cartesian equation of C in the form x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals C, 
or otherwise, sketch C labeling the endpoints of the curve with their exact coordinates. So, we need to find a Cartesian equation of um, C, and one way to do that is to um, use the identity sine squared t and plus cos squared t is equal to 1. And this will help us um, eliminate our t variable. So for part A, so first of all, we can rearrange our parametric equations to make this easier for us. So we can um, take the 3 onto the other side here and the 1 onto the other side here. So we get that uh, x minus 3 is equal to 4 sine t and um, y plus 1 is equal to 4 cos t. Now if we square both of these expressions, we get x minus 3 squared is equal to 16 sine squared t. And here we get y plus 1 squared is equal to 16 cos squared t. And now we can use this equation to link these um, equations in x and t and y and t together. So we get x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 16 sine squared t plus 16 cos squared t. And this is equal to 16 sine squared t plus cos squared t. And we know that that is equal to 1. So we get that um, that is equal to 16. And that is the um, equation in the form they wanted. Now, if we think about what this um, circle looks like on a graph, this will be a circle um, with center 3 minus 1. And so on a, um, if we put the axes in, that will look something like this. So 3 along. Minus one um, down. But now we have to um, focus on the range of t that they give us. And this is hinted at in the question when it says labeling the endpoints of the um, curve. So we can use these um, this uh, restriction on the values of t to find the endpoints. So if we consider the parametric equation for x, so x equals four sine t plus three. If we, um, if we look at the graph of y equals sine of x, or um, x equals sine of t, however you want to put it, that will look something like this. Okay. And um, we're told that t ranges from minus pi over 2 to pi over 4. So minus pi over 2 is here. And um, pi over 4 is here. Okay. So we can see that 4 uh, minus pi over 2 is less than or equal to t, is less than or equal to pi over 4. We get that sine of t is between uh, minus 1 and root 2 over 2. So we get that 4 uh, minus pi over 2 is less than or equal to t, is less than or equal to pi over 4. We have that um, sine of t ranges from minus 1 to root 2 over 2. And therefore, 4 sine of t plus 3 ranges from um, minus 1 times 4 plus 3, so minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. And uh, root 2 over 2 times 4 is 2 root 2, so we have um, 2 root 2 plus 3. And so these will be the um, endpoints of our arc. And this is um, when the value of t is equal to minus pi over 2. And this is where the value of t is equal to um, pi over 4. And now if we plug these values of t into our uh, parametric equation for y, y equals 4 cos of minus pi over 2 minus 1. So cos of minus pi over 2 is um, 0, so that will equal minus 1. So we have one point, minus 1, minus 1, that will be an endpoint. And the other um, endpoint will have y coordinate 4, cos of pi over 4 minus 1. So that is equal to 2 2 minus 1. And um, we can see from our um, graph of the circle, that means the endpoints will be here with coordinates minus 1, minus 1, and also um, somewhere up here uh, with coordinates uh, 2 root 2 plus 3, 2 root 2, minus 1. 
And so our curve will look something like this. And we've clearly labelled the endpoints of the curve with their exact coordinates as required. Finally, for part B, find the length of C, give me your answer in terms of pi. So this is a um, this is the arc of the circle, of the full circle, given by this equation here. And we can find this angle here by finding the angle uh, here, if we call that theta, because we know this angle here is 90 degrees, as um, these two have the same y coordinates, so this line is horizontal. Okay, so if we look at this triangle, this right angle triangle, we have the angle theta we're trying to find here, this is the point 3 minus 1, and um, this here is the point 2 root 2 plus 3, uh, 2 root 2 minus 1. So to find the angle theta, we can find the lengths of the sides here and here, um, using the coordinates of the points we have. So the, um, the side here is equal to 2 root 2 plus 3 minus 3, so that's 2 root 2. And the other side has length 2 root 2 minus 1 uh, plus 1, so that is 2 root 2. Therefore, we know that the angle theta, as this is an isosceles triangle, must be um, pi over 4. Therefore, we know the entire angle of the sector here is equal to pi over 2 plus pi over 4, so that's 3 pi over 4. Now we can use the um, formula for arc length in um, radians. So we know that the arc length in radians is equal to r theta. And so the radius here is um, square root of 16, so that is 4, times the angle theta, which is 3 pi over 4. So we have that the arc length is equal to 3 pi. And that is our final answer. And that is the end of review exercise 2 for Edexcel's Pure Year 2 textbook. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you for the next video.